What's up, everybody? Good morning. You already know it's Thursday. I know, I know it's Thursday. The week has moved so ever swiftly, but I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm glad to be here with you. So go ahead and invite your family, your friends, your coworkers, your neighbors, literally everyone. Church chat is waiting and available to them, right? Your family, your friends, get them all in here. Go ahead and share this with your timelines as well. Hey, we got it. It's Thursday. The shade, the shenanigans, the pettiness, it's real. And it resides right here on New Day with Amber Shaw. It is the virtual edition. Listen, I got a guest for you today. I'm not talking about Carmina. She's no longer a guest. She's a regular, whether she's on the banner or not. I'm just saying. I'm looking forward to her inspiration of the day. But I do have a special guest for you. And um, I'm sure he is going to lend his comedic relief to you this morning. So go ahead, share this. I'll be back in just a moment. New day with Amber Shaw, the virtual edition. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Got a little bit of Smokey Norfolk in the background. Yep. Smokey has a new song. It's actually number one, everybody. So congratulations to Smokey Norfolk. We're going to go live. I'm going to introduce the special guest. So let's get it. Twelve thirty, the source. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I pray all is well. We do know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. 713-668-1230 is the number. Hit me up. Let me know what side of town you're listening from, north, south, east, or west. Or maybe, you know, you want to let me know your early plans for the weekend. Whatever the case may be. Hit me up. Love to talk to you this morning. You just heard Smokey Norfolk still have you, you know, actually number one song atop the media base charts. And congratulations to Smokey Norfolk. Smokey has hadn't had a song in several years. So, you know, waiting with anticipation 
from one of those um, very noted voices in gospel music. So let's get it in. Before that, you heard from Elizabeth Bethay with Awesome God. I got more music for you. You got some headlines and the weather. So it is currently 71 degrees, cloudy on the day, high of 79, and there is rain in the forecast. Please, ma'am, please, sir, take the necessary accessories with you. Grab your umbrella, your raincoat, jacket, poncho, protective headgear, and of course, your rain boots. I want to say good morning to all of you viewing on Facebook Live. Good morning to Miss Marie Hippolyte Holt. How you doing, Nicholas Hines? What's good? Brandy, what's up? How are you? Anthony Faulkner, the traveler of so many continents, is on this morning. He's hanging out in church chat. Robin McCollum from Philadelphia is here as well. And then I can't forget about A. Darnell Powell. Good morning to you. So let's see what is up with the headlines. What's good over here? or sometimes it's not always good. It's sometimes bad. President Biden says Russia is making a big mistake, quoted, big mistake, by suspending a key nuclear arms treaty. The president made the brief comment to reporters as he entered a meeting in Warsaw, Poland, with NATO allies. Russian Pre President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday announced the world suspends Russia's participation in the start of in, in the New START Treaty, which limits the number of long range nuclear warheads both countries can keep in their arsenal. Uh, yeah, but nevertheless, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I got the singable choir song coming up in just a moment. New Day with Amber Shaw, 1230 The Source. Good morning, everybody. All right, guys, what's good? How are you? I appreciate all of you for being here on today. So listen, we're gonna jump right into it and we are going to get it all done. I do have a special guest that is going to join us this morning, and I do believe that that young man is ready, and um, yeah, he's ready, to, he's ready to get it in. You've seen him in the comments. He normally dips in. He's late. He's normally late to church chat. That's okay. You know, we take everybody, whether they're on time, somewhere in the middle or not, right? But um, he is going to join us, and um, we're going to see what happens, what's been happening with him. As soon as I can get all of these card numbers in this system, we're going to make it happen, okay? And I think I got it. There we go. Got the Mississippi Mass Choir coming up. Good God is keeping me. So without further ado, good morning to you all, everybody that's in church chat already. All right. He over there making all of that noise. With that water bottle, but it's all good. It's all good. Ladies and gentlemen, say good morning to the Archdiocese himself, Donald Bless you. God Bolt. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, great one. How art thou? But listen, let me ask you Man. this. Like, for real, for real. What's up? I know you're the Archdiocese and everything, but yes. why do you look like King Tut this morning? I'm just, I'm just asking. Like I'm not you, you got you you giving me King Tut vibe. Uh this is not King Tut. This is the look of being deep. Oh, this is the look of being deep. The look so of being I deep. haven't even arrived yet then. Is what not even saying. close. Not, not even, even close. close. That's worldly. That proper that's worldly. That's worldly. <laughs> okay. Well listen, that's let's worldly. Get the Mississippi Mass Choir rolling in here. Let's say good morning. Mm -hmm. I know I said them, I said their names live, but listen, Miss Marie is here. Good morning to you too. You got Nicholas Holt. Nicholas Holt. Nicholas Hines. Wrong H. Nicholas Hines is here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know Holt. It it, it, it was Hippolyte Holt. So I was with the H's, and then I saw another. Well, I, well I'm happy. I'm happy you said Hope. I thought you said something else. Bless the you know Lord. what? You just got here. You just yeah, got here. Just you just got here. Uh, <laughs> Good morning to Brandy, um, Miss B. Brown, Anthony Faulkner, like I said. Yes, Anthony, you are in church chat. So listen, I need you guys to be on your best behavior because we got guests. Yes, yes, please. Amen. <laughs> listen, and wow. so on is here. Good morning to you. So always a pleasure. Roger Purvis, Mr. P. PD, WLLV in Louisville, Kentucky. He's going to ask us to sing. I Perfect. know he is. Mm -hmm. I know he is. Now, Perfect. Donald Godbo. What's going on? 
as you see in his label, it says founder of Donald God Bold and Spiritual Gifts. So, yes. Donald, really briefly, okay, briefly, tell okay, us yourself. Ah, my name is Donald God whatever, whatever you over there clicking on, stop. I'm not clicking on that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm just rocking back and forth. I'm just rocking back and forth. You know what? Do you have your what? earbuds in your AirPods? I in? do. So it I might do. be. It might be your 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 touch scarf. It might be your touch scarf. I got it. That's what is it this is. Better? It's, it's is this better? Scarf. Is this better? That's much better. See, it's the devil that wants me to take this, and and, and he 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 is the. You know, um, you say it's the devil that wants you to take that off. Mm -hmm. Well, can I just make it personal? I do too, but that's okay. Go ahead, Donald Godbolt. Hey, Amen. <laughs> And uh, yo, know, um, I've been having a ministry for 15 years. September of last year, we we celebrated 15 years. I'm from Mississippi, Hattiesburg, H Town, Mississippi. Ah, uh, man, you know, I just love God. I love having fun. Love making music. Uh, we just uh, put out a new single. Yo, we just love praising God, and having fun. Is Kelly? How are you? That's I see uh, San Antonio representing today. It's a Kelly Washington, a I phenomenal a worship morning, leader. Kelly. You know, so we leader, bring you know. God boat in and yeah. he brings in new people in the morning. Yes. So I appreciate yes. that. Good deal. So, that's it. That's it. Not, not, nothing much about me. All right. Well, Donald, you know how we get down on Thursdays. You have been, um, you are, you know, a member of Church mm -hmm. Chat. So you know how we get yes. down. You already know what, yes. what it is. And so I got a few headlines and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this one because... Brandy, okay. Brandy put it out there. She already said, listen, she she said, here's some news. The brat announced her pregnancy and being an ambassador for Method Man's. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I, the second part. I mean, I'm sure that Ooh. I'm sure that that deal was probably already, you know, in the works, you know, prior to, you know, her becoming, you know, pregnant or whatever. But it is what it is. Okay. An ambassador of Method Man's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, you know, again, it's one of those things where I think that might maybe it was already a part of, you know, a deal in the works. It just I have happened. a I have a question for the lady. For the who? For the ladies. For the ladies. I just had a recent conversation about this. Okay. With a few people. Okay. So I'm noticing. Are we talking about Oh, we talk. Okay. Oh, wait. Tell me which part of the conversation. The latter part or the first, the first part? Okay. The first part. Okay. So, is getting pregnant after forty-five the new thing now? Are there are there many people that are? Right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's like a modern day Sarah thing going on now. So is it so is the new four so is the 40 really the new 20 now for the women? I don't know. I'm I, I'm not I'm not one of them. I have a few people like I got two friends right now that's 45 and pregnant, and I have one that's 49 and one that's 51. Pregnant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well listen, it's one of those yeah. things where I'm sure they consulted <clears throat> with their doctors. You know, I do know that the High risk age. Has Do you think they back. really consulted with the doctors? Huh? Do you really think they consulted with the doctors? Come on now. Well, I mean, some. Of, well, I would. I, I would think at forty nine. Okay. okay. Yeah, there was a conversation. Okay. You know, okay. Can we do this? <laughs> Listen. Pro probably. So, pro you know what? You <laughs> might be right. You, and, you, you know, might I, be right. I might be, and then I could be very, very wrong. It could have just up and happened, and then the conversation ensued. <laughs> But nevertheless, I do think that a conversation happened. So I'm going to go with my part, my version. Okay. Is that they, at 49, you have a conversation with your doctor one because you need to see if everything is still operating and functioning properly, right? So therefore, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Brandon said she can't come in. She's allergic. Pregnancy is no longer a part of her ministry. And it's not. It's not a part of a lot of people's ministry at that age. Now, for those individuals who don't have kids, possibly, you know, it might be something. So I don't know. To answer your question, I don't know that it is that it is a fad that is happening right now because I currently don't know any 
40 plus people that are pregnant. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> At all. Just, it must be my circle then. It must be, the water it, it must be down there in your part of Texas because it is no. not up here. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I stay away from there. I stay away from there. <laughs> but no, she did announce that um, she's like, what, 18 weeks, 16 weeks, something like that. So, hey, if it works she for them in their life. I'll 16 it. weeks is what? Oh, wait. Four 16. months. Hold on. Carry the two. Four months. I said that already. Four months. I'm, I said yeah. that already. She looks like she's about seven. And we move on to Broderick Purvis I, being pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I think you probably miss a lot of this when by the time you jump on, Broderick has already requested his solo. I do. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I so jump you, on, on the latter part. And on, on the latter part. The latter I need part. you to do better. You did much better I, today. I'm trying. Yes, I am. Listen, Brandy is really agreeing with you today, Brandy. Thank you, Brandy. Br I pro somebody's calculation ain't somebody's calculation ain't right. That I, I, my stomach look like probably like a three and a half month. Her stomach bigger than mine. Whew. We got new music from Sherry my, Wasu in the My book. stomach is about two and a half, three months. I surrender. Her her stuff, Brandy. You know, I, I don't know if you have had a with child ministry. Um, you may know that she, she has. has. Amber, you have had a with child ministry. I have. What you've had? What four of them? Four. Sir, do you want what? to stay on the program? Yeah, who, do, me? Well, you, do you see my Amber, name and say who me? And hold on, Amber, you got. One, I have two. Two, two. two. Oh, okay. Nope. The Lord could have just spoke prophetically. What and what in a? I, I mean, yeah, He did. He did just speak prophetic. I am in agreement. I have two. I got kids. That's it. That's all. Okay. I'm over forty. There is nothing else that is not my ministry, like Brandy. Okay. <laughs> Move forward. Press forward. Press toward the mark. Press forward. Press toward the mark. I need you. She to must be kids to Phaedra. <laughs> See, so I don't I, I don't follow that timeline, so I'm not really familiar with what that I, means I, I don't. exactly. All right, so the brat is pregnant. Let's move forward. Okay, so I have a question for you all to get everybody interactive this morning. So I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen, and I simply want to know. You just have to choose. You have to choose. Choose ye this day. Hey. Which one? Mm -hmm. Two G. This which time. one don't? Which one? Which one has to go? A different world. Martin, living single or fresh prince? And I'm not talking about that reboot. I'm talking about the original. Mm -hmm. Okay. And anybody that say Martin, you got my permission to block them. They're no longer part of church chat. Really? They know not the Lord. They, they know not the. They okay. know not the I Lord. Yes. They don't. They don't. That is as of witchcraft. Mm. So see, Brandy, I didn't realize Brandy had four. I thought Brandy just had three. Okay. And I, I thought did. Brandy was going to be my friend. And she the first one that said Martin. Well, uh, well I'm glad she was because I was going to say Martin myself. But uh, How y'all going to say Martin? I mean, it was okay. What? I mean, I like the show, but when you make me choose out of the four... A different world. Okay, the wedding episode. I mean, that was yeah, probably was more than one episode of a different world. Baby, no, baby, no. Okay, that was a good one. Um, uh, what living single? I mean, you really can't. Uh, Fresh Prince. Okay. Why my daddy don't want me? Okay, that was you got many. You got bro men. You got kung fu. Uh, you come on now, Mark. You got many different episodes of Martin. Many, many, many episodes of Martin that you got. Martin episodes is like the color purple. You can just quote all of them. Many, I mean, you, you, you got to, I mean, you got to, yeah, yeah, no. Uh -uh. All right, so nah. I need everybody to chime in. Um, so, but we need to do some hashtags first. Donald, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with the hashtags. We just kind of throw them out there. So if you have one that fits the subject matter at the time, Throw it out. We do have an auxiliary that is over the hashtags. They should catch them 
and post them really, really quickly. So the first one this morning, I like hashtag foolishness because it, it started really early. It started early in the AM. So amen. Amen. My boy Kenny, Kenny representing SG. What's uh, up, Kenny? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. He said a different world. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's my tenor right there. Look, look, look at how how sweet. See, hey, I got smooth tenor. Smooth. Smooth. Look, <laughs> look at Ken. What up, Ken? A different world. I give what you're now, Ken. Okay. A different All world. Right. Uh, let's see. Um, is it is a Zac different world? Zakalia. Uh huh. Zakalia. Zakalia says a different world as well. Okay. <laughs> Brandy. Somebody said for Brandy Brandy is on this morning. I don't know, Brandy. Have you had your coffee? <laughs> Some foolishness got on my nerve. I mean, Martin. Martin was just a generational. I mean, yeah, Martin was a fool. Right, <laughs> Martin fool hashtag foolishness. I mean, uh -oh, Brandy, come on, come on, Robin McCullum, Radio Robin is chiming in. She say Martin got to go. Come on, we, in, we have we have a consensus. In, All right, where well, is Radio Robin from? Yes. So for those of you that are just jumping in, um, one of them has to go. It's scrolling across the bottom, and I gotta go. I gotta do this break over here. This this. This is Martin, no, nah. -uh. I'm sorry, y'all. Martin, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good morning to Daryl. Hey, how you doing, sir? See, Brandy, somebody done told you wrong. That's a quote from Martin. Somebody done told you wrong. See there? That's a quote from Martin. Hang tight, Donald. Huh? Hang tight. 12.30, The Source. What's good, everybody? 30 minutes to the top of the hour. New day with Amber Shaw is with you. Listen, I'm hanging out with the folk on Facebook Live. We have a debate going on. But before we do that, that was Donald. That was not Donald. That was Brian Dunlap and One Purpose featuring Coco from SWV with Testimony. More gospel music is on the way. I got quartet on the other side of the break. We'll do some quartet from the Williams Brothers in moments. So stick around and stay with me. So I have a question. It's going on right now. It's a whole debate. So for those of you who are um, avid TV viewers and lovers, I got a question for you. Which one has to go you get to choose out of the four things that i'm going to say which one has to go out of a different world martin living single or the fresh prince which one of those four has to go meaning you don't want it in the mix you can do without it okay again which one has to go the options are a different world martin living single or the Fresh Prince. Let me know. 713-668-1230. We'll be back with more music. Got the Williams Brothers coming up. And then we're going to throw in, uh, let's see, we'll throw in some Dorinda Clark Cole. New Day with Amber Shaw, 1230, The Source. Good morning, everybody. All right. Donald, what say the people? Have they gotten better with it? Nope. They ain't got better with it. I mean, come on. Kenny is with you though. I know Kenny. I mean, like Martin. Martin was so. Martin was so impressed. You couldn't script Martin. You couldn't even. I mean, living single was more of a. I like living single, but to me, living single was more of a. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Don't say the wrong thing. I don't. Ask the it's, Lord to help you first. It's too many. It, yeah, it's too many. It's too See, many. In church chat, it's a little bit better. So you might. <laughs> uh, a different world. A different world was more. It, a different world was good. But it just wasn't funny all the time. Okay. There was serious moments. Uh, which, which was good, which was good. Um, they're educational, and that was the point. Um, but if, if you're just looking, for, yeah, Martin, yeah, yeah, Martin, you got to keep Martin on there. Fresh Prince. Woo. Oh, 
Now, Kenny, Kenny, I was with you. I was, I was, I was definitely with you, sir. What did Kenny say? I was truly with you until then. You know, I am one that will definitely honor everybody's opinion. Oh, but brother Kenny. <laughs> you God, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. you Kenny. <laughs> Kenny. I mean, listen. Kenny. So a different world presented itself then, and they didn't realize that it was ushering in the prominence of an HBCU or, you know, the right. lack of an HBCU. They dealt with issues that were relevant right. and are still relevant. Right. You go back and you watch a different right. world now and you will realize that, man, I missed all of this because, you know, you were uh -huh. kind of get caught up in the characters and, and how mm -hmm. they acted and, you know, all of that from the voices to the looks and mm -hmm. things. And you're trying to figure out all these old people in college, mm -hmm. right? Right, but right. Way. But, um, right. you know, I, I just, Kenny, I definitely, I can't, I, I, I can't get behind it being the stupid uh, part. It was, it was just the stupid I, but listen, uh, you are entitled to your own opinion, sweetie. Listen, it's all good. It's all good. I've heard some other people say that a different world was was, was irrelevant, was stupid. Um, but then you know, I you know, you, you gotta look at the the two different generations too. True. Um uh Kenny, is Kenny a millennial? Kenny is a millennial, a very smart millennial. Uh <laughs> but it? you know, he no. he, he don't. Don't he don't. He <laughs> don't. don't. He, you know, I'm gonna take up from. You know, I'm gonna take up from the people. Uh -huh. He's a very smart millennial, uh, but uh, um, and he's from Mississippi. <laughs> but I don't think that he fully grasped. I don't think he fully grasped the understanding of a different world because I, because I don't think he really watched the Cosby Show. Um, you really had to know the Cosby show to understand a different world. Um, so yeah. Uh Ken, I love you, my brother. <laughs> you my brother. That's, Brandy is on one this what, morning. That, that's <laughs> Brandy that's, is on one. That, Brandy, was Ken, it that he was a millennial or is a millennial or that he from Brent, or is it the comedy? No, nah, 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 Brandy, but leave Mississippi out of him. Leave Mississippi out of him. No, Kenny, trust me. It's it's, it's 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 all in good fun, I promise you. But no, I invite you to, you know, just kind of go back and look at a few yeah. episodes, you know, after, you know, you know, since we've talked about, you know, that. Just see, just see. Come back. Send me a message and tell me if your thoughts still remain the same. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Okay. Who's sweeping around your old friend, though? I know. I got the wig. Are you sweeping around, man? Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I play quartet at the bottom of every hour. All right. So we are there. And okay, cool. Hopefully everybody did, you know, tell me their selection. Which one has to go out of what's scrolling across your screen at the bottom? You have um, what is it? Fresh Prince, Living mm -hmm. Single. Well, Fresh mm -hmm. Prince. Oh no, a different world, Martin, Living Single, and Fresh Prince. Denise was on the show for two days. Forget one or two seasons. Denise. Was well, Denise. So the the reason why wasn't that she was a you know she got pregnant. So really, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, was that the real reason why? No, 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 no. I saw the interview. Um, for Ava, from my uh, first friends. What happened? The the reason why they they switched Ava. Uh, no, no, she was pregnant throughout that whole thing. There was supposedly some type of contractual thing, and then that's right. That that's right. That's right. That's no, that's yeah, right. she was pregnant throughout that whole season. She had that baby, and then so that was a real pregnancy. Yes, for her. Okay. Yes, it was. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, correct me if I was wrong. Was it me or was Claire Hustle pregnant almost throughout almost all of the Cosby Show? No. That was how many times she, man, yeah. Claire. She, Felicia Rashad only had one kid. There were many episodes she was laid in that cut out bed. She was what? Laid in that cut out bed holding her stomach. Those were the episodes she was praying. And that was more than one season. It and it's only nine season. and it's only nine months. But honestly, but check it out. We didn't really know she was pregnant until the end. Because if you go back to the season that she was pregnant, they always had something in front of her stomach. Always. Or they, or they, or when it was time for them to like do a, a straight on, they would go off, or they would just get her 
you know, like from chest up. I thought that they just kept her laid down and they uh laid in a cut off bed. So you just thought police Rashad had yeah. to drop the kids around here somewhere. Well, hey, I did. <laughs> All right, let's see. So Donald, you are a musician. You're a singer and all of that. I'm sure by now you've seen the video of the prophetess that was decreeing and declaring um, at whatever service that was. And so give me a second and I will give you all. Mm -hmm. What was that song by Coco? No, she was featured. She was featured on Brian Dunlap. Brian Dunlap is from here in Houston. Oh, and really? So, um, it's Brian Dunlap and One Purpose, and the song is entitled Testimony. It's their, oh. it's, it's their most recent single. Mm -hmm. oh, I heard from Coco and Gospel says Midnight. Don't wait till midnight. When hey, there hey. is no sunlight. Okay, I just. I mean, okay. you just have to, everybody got to shut up at that part right there. Yeah, just had a flashback. Amen. Julius Pearson of Julius Pearson and the Gospel Chorale of Chicago. He says, I fell in love with Whitley and it forever cemented my admiration for pretty entitled hungry women. <laughs> but have you seen Whitley now, though? I have. Is she still right hungry? There. She's Is she still is she still home? Whitney, Whitley is Whitley, Jasmine Guy is still still acting. I know she was in a right. play not too long ago. It didn't come to Houston, but it hit a few other markets and things like that. So, um, Fresh Prince was not that funny, but I did give camera time to. It did give really between Donald, Brandy, and Julius this morning. You guys are. What did have y'all had y'all called me? Fresh prison, but it did to be. You know there was, what? There was only it, one big, big ooh. person per se on that show. One, one, yeah. We went into Torsha Walter. What up, what up? Torsha? How you doing, Torsha? The question is which one has to go out of a different world? Martin, living single, and Fresh Prince. Which one has to go? Let me know. Let me know. All right. So what we're talking about the prophetess. How many of you have seen the video of the prophetess that was talking about musicians and how they don't really stay for the word? Once they play, they get up and they go do whatever they do. Um, man, so you, Donald, being a musician... Have you seen the video first and foremost? Have you seen it? I did. You I did. did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, so not only was she talking about that, she went off on a small tangent. <laughs> quite certain small. why she went there. Um, and then at the end of it, there are two musicians that are present in camera view. There's a keyboard player and there is a drummer that's there. She mm -hmm. turns. She is a visiting. She's a visiting minister. Let right. me let me make certain that I say that she is visiting at this particular church. And she said that the Lord put it on her heart to, because she tells the truth. So, um, sir, being a musician, mm -hmm. your thoughts, was she out of line or in line? So I'm going to say what I said uh, on my live last mm -hmm. night. I don't know her personally. I'm not going to go be, be spiritual and say that. And we didn't see she, what happened before the right. camera started rolling on that segment. So... So that um, she was dumb. She was dumb. Um, I, I'm not gonna say she had a witch spirit. No, she she was dumb and ignorant. Um, as a musician, I speak from both ends. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yes, you do have just like in the pulpit, you have good and bad of everything. You know, um, you have musicians you want to work with. You have musicians you don't want to work with. You have pastors you want to hear preach. You got pastors you don't want to hear preach. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what churches in the new millennium that she has been to that musicians have the time to walk out of church now because the way church structure is set up now, 
we can't walk out of church because everybody want music from the start of service to the end of service. So with that being said, um, yeah, she was dumb. She was out of order. Okay. I mean, that's all right. Me. I just I just want to know your take mm -hmm. on it. Just want to know your take. Mm -hmm. In church chat, if you've seen it, let me know what your thoughts are. We're gonna bring Carmina Barnett to the program. Good morning, CB. What's good with you? I just I'm I'm just I don't know if I'm worthy. I mean, the archdiocese is here. Right. Exactly. I don't know if I'm worthy. I Giving mean, us I, King Cut vibe all at the same time. I feel like should I cover my head, cover my face? I, I, what is reverence? I don't I don't know. I'm oh, just. But how's everybody this morning? Hey, church chat. What up, <laughs> Nina? And Amber, Amber, yeah. the you know you give honor to where honors due, ah. and you give uh, you 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 give uh, credence to ah. where credence is due. Um, and everybody missed the consecration service of my um, archdiocese, and um, I was consecrated by uh, the one and only Carmina. Barnett, amen. So I wouldn't have known who I was as a person. I would not, I was not walking in my purpose. I was not walking in my calling. I was not walking in my divine destiny. <laughs> I found out who I was one night, shut up, one night in an interview. The Bible says he would take the foolish things to confound the wise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and in that moment, she told me who I was. And I'm walking. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carmine. <laughs> bless you. Bless you, my Thank friend. You. Bless you. It's not Archdiocese Bishop, not Apostle. None of that. None of that. Archdiocese. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Bless Julius you. Pearson, we're not fooling with you this morning. He said, remember the time. Listen. This one, Donald, Brandy, and Julius have been all the way live this entire Remember the time. time. Oh, oh, Torsha. Torsha. It was the Koreans. But you're right, girl, because I can't get on that flyer. So, yes, ma'am, you are absolutely correct. Good morning to you right, as I'm well. Right, I'm right. Yes. <laughs> you got what's going on in Dallas? I heard that the GMWA board meeting, the Gospel Music Workshop of America board meeting, is live in full effect. Uh, the first night they had the Welcome Musical in Houston, newly Houston Zone. Charisma Evans <laughs> was the featured guest. She's still out. She's still out. Uh, last night was the HBCU Collegiate Night. Very nice, very nice. And then tonight, it's just the go down. Tonight is the go down, plain and simple. So, <laughs> if where you can, are you gonna be at tonight? It's still at the um, uh, Dallas Hilton Lincoln Center. That's the name. Okay. Of it. So, if you can get down forty five, y'all come on out. It has been it's been really amazing, and it's a great opportunity to meet a lot of the board members and things like that, and get up close and personal with them, and really find out about the GMWA. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, I just had one question. I think it was the first night there was a choir that sang. They had on some robes. They had arms that had like yellow and blue right here. I saw that. And it was a guy that was singing with them. I sent you a screenshot, but you didn't respond. So I was because I saw unlike, that too. Unlike you, I was in. The was, well, no, no, I you don't just you up in church you talking about. Responded right. later. You could have responded. I'd be in worship. It's See, okay. I'm serious about Jesus. I'd be in worship. Understand. Mm. Totally understand. This, totally this, understand. Let me look this, at this. your screenshot and see who you're talking about. Because we have some <laughs> really good choirs. Yes. I think we're talking about the same person. Uh, I was what there I, was I a lady was, directing uh, uh, the yep. maroon um yep. robe. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. We'll talk about it in just a second. But Carmine, okay, they had on yellow and she had on maroon. <laughs> they were not of the same choir. I'm just <laughs> See, that had kind of baffled me, too. I was a little bit bewildered. Okay, I, okay. Let me correct it. I see who you're talking about. So what happened was they had spotlights on the stage. Everybody matched. Uh, it just looked crazy because okay. of the spotlight. Okay. That is actually the Mount Rose Church here in Dallas. Okay. The lead singer was Bishop Jeff Thomas, and that single is actually out for radio right now. 
Okay. Hang tight. Mm-hmm. Prepare yourself for your clarity. Twelve thirty. The source. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit from Fred Hammond this morning. Got a few more songs on the way. We want you to, you know, check us out and know that Paris Ely is up next with the Morning Pretty Magazine. Nice. It's all happening right here on New Day with Amber Shaw. Twelve thirty. The source. Good morning, everybody. Look, Julia said it was Cedric the Entertainer and Michael Jackson had a baby. Wow. He's talking about your, your adornment. Your adornment. That's what he's talking about. So you said I look like Cedric. I do not look like Cedric the Entertainer. That's what Julia everybody also said. Said that. I hear a lot of people say, I, I do not. I don't. I hear that a lot, but I, I, I don't see it. Okay. So if you hear it a lot, then there are a lot of people <laughs> who feel the <laughs> same way, sir. Everybody's eyes ain't crossed. Somebody's seeing something. <laughs> The common denominator is who? You, Garbo. No, no, no. The common denominator is Jesus. See, that's y'all problem. Y'all make it about y'all. Ah. Ah. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. I see you got your name back, Be Not Bothered. And the Be Not Bothered collection is releasing in one week. Really? Uh-oh. You got a collection coming? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Ain't nobody ready. See, it's funny. Oh, no. I mean to be holding all of her stuff. Like she don't, you don't know. Like she don't, she don't, she don't say nothing. Like I thought we were friends, and she won't even. She, I don't even know. Sometimes you got to bring the friends and see. I'm, I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just oh. wait my turn. Uh huh. Cause see, see, she gonna make me preach right quick. See what you're doing, I mean, See you walking in silence for real. Oh. I mean, you can walk in silence. You just ain't gotta put everything on Facebook. Telling people you walk in the south. <laughs> my first of all, Carmina know, Car- Car- look, Car- Carmina know my memory is not the best. So I just want to know. So I'm no, probably not going to remember anyway. That's true. Had I told you, you'd be talking about what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Girl, why you ain't tell me? So it's possible that you told me and I just don't remember. <laughs> That's sad before the Lord. I you know what? Pray. I am happy that Amber admitted that live because I, I used to wonder was her memory really that bad. I mean, I don't want it to because be she'll bad. be on the phone like Donald did really Donald? Like when I asked, I, I said, okay, okay, remind me again. I'm like, okay. And then be swollen up with you like you didn't tell me. No, ma'am, you didn't no. remember. <laughs> but I do know that you did not tell me that there was I did not because sometimes you got to let the Lord give all of it to you. Ooh. And amen to that. And with Ooh, that being said, up. ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. Carmina Barnett. I'm so a- here it is, real simple, same. real short, not going to be before you long. If you are not a mathematician by trade, stop adding and subtracting to other people's stories. Stop. Stop. I watched somebody yesterday just totally tell what person A was, where they had been, what they had done, who they was in the kingdom, and who they wasn't. And was wrong, strong and wrong. So finally, I tapped them on their shoulder and I said, I'm sorry. Explain to me where you got all of that from. Cause see, I saw them and I said, and I and I I said, You are so incorrect. First of all, I talked to them at least two, three times a week, and I know all of that is wrong. So you probably don't want to repeat that elsewhere because you is wrong. So stop adding and subtracting the people's story so you can sound like the great storyteller. Focus on you. I really believe that that's like worth hearing again. I, I just. Wrong and wrong. Don't do that. I mean, you be telling it like it's in the Bible in black and white print. And be wrong. Stop it. Strong and wrong. Hashtag strong and wrong. Strong and wrong. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. And I mean, we just but I mean, had on the outfit that this they was able to detail the outfit that this person had on is something they was never even at. Stop it. If you are not a mathematician by trade, do not add or subtract to anybody's story. Okay. See, it's the mathematician for me. That's it. That's all I got. That's What's your case here? Yeah. <laughs> Because that drove me crazy. It was over there just telling it and telling it. And I was like, Do I need no, to I'm, add the cash app to your yes, 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 yes? Add it to your to your to I your prom- bag at the bottom. 
I promise you, if people would listen to what she just said, I wouldn't be out here with five kids and married. They be adding. They be adding. <laughs> Strong and wrong. You and wrong. If you got C's and D's and F's and C's maths, and D if is not, it's, it's that not, was not, it's not, that's not your ministry. Not that, that's, that's, and think about it. You could have your own collection if you was focused on you instead of trying to tell somebody else's story. Eva J, what's going on? <laughs> Hashtag some everybody and everybody. Clearly, have you ever had somebody tell you a story and they couldn't even get, get the person's name right? <laughs> I ain't never had one that bad. Glory. Listen, no, I had somebody tell me what I did, and I was like, "Now, now who was that again?" Yeah. Did they know they was talking to you? <laughs> We're coming to the church chat. I need the hashtags. Let's hit them. Strong and wrong. Strong <laughs> hashtag. That's, strong and that's wrong. the really, that's the hashtag right really there. Really, our wrong. hashtag committee is not in church today. They are absent. <laughs> so y'all just hashtag strong and wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> just wrong. Just wrong, period. She said mathematician. Seriously, that's what I'm going to the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex with nobody. Not for me My boy Mike Cummins on here. What's up, Mike? Good morning, magazine, everybody. So make certain that you lend your attention his way. Oh, Jesus. Say good morning to everybody that's on Facebook Live. Eva J, good morning. To Kalia Washington, thank you so much for joining in. Donald Godbold is there, a.k.a. the Archdiocese. You got, you know, my friend, the favorite. Yeah. Carmina Barnett, she Did is you know, inspiration this morning. Yeah, somebody's gonna challenge me on that whole favorite thing. It's okay, it's all right. Nancy Michelle Taylor, good morning to you, Julius. Nancy, <laughs> oh, sorry, Julius Pearson, good morning, and good morning to all of you again. You're listening to 12 30 The Source. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Nancy represent East Texas. <laughs> As much as I love Nancy, I, I really do. I mean, that's great. It's just, oh. My bad. I, my, my, my bad. I just wasn't Nancy. expecting you to yell. Yeah. I, 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 you know. Right. <laughs> no, my peeps. Are, Mike Cummins represents Chi Town. Nice. But that's what nice. you need. You need somebody in the church that's greeting the people and welcome them in. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Greet us. Well, I mean, the hashtag ministry is clearly not in church today. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, they, hey, I'm sending them hashtag. Oh, oh yeah. my bad. They had walked out when I started talking. They walked out. No, actually, me. your your internet is a little slow. Your comments just not coming up. Ooh. No, they're not. No, that is not the problem. That is not the problem. Mike's had someone to get word. <laughs> I thought we got rid of the slot machine internet with we, paper. <laughs> that was never a part of my ministry anyway, so. Y'all didn't ever pay attention. Maybe we would lean over and throw some change in and come back. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, I think, okay, strong and wrong. Okay. The hashtag ministry. Oh, the hat. And then the ministry is in, they, they are present. In and this day and time, it. people don't Bless know what the math the is. So Robin had to give us a few symbols <clears throat> so we understand. You add and you subtract and that's stuff. Why and she's the auxiliary yes. head. That's why she's the auxiliary she's head. She's the auxiliary head. head. That, that, that's I yeah. I love yeah. it. <laughs> I love the way she put the, the and in all the letters. I like, letters. The, the, I like the, it. The, yeah. yeah. There yeah. we go. All right. Well, okay. <clears throat> Mathematicians. <laughs> Man, I did kind of tell my age with that one, right? Babe, I, I haven't heard a man with right, right, right. That's a thing. That, babe. You know what? I was looking at hidden figures. Remember oh, Catherine? Yes, because she was good. Right, right, right. It's Black History Month, y'all. I'm yet celebrating. You know what? Seriously, you should do yourself that favor and revisit some of those great movies. I have been down the list and just... We had some great films, Just Mercy, uh, Hidden Figures. Uh, oh, my gosh, Great Debaters. I mean, there are so many great black films that are inspiring. So take some time and revisit some of those. I know y'all want to see everybody kill everybody, but some stuff need to inspire you and stimulate your mind. <laughs> so I take a little smoke. time and revisit those. Yeah, I it's some great films. When she said that. Yeah, you got convicted. 
because everybody well, in your no, I, I just I wasn't expecting you to say that. I, I just wasn't expecting you to say that. That's all. Listen, I had a husband. Everybody had to. If wasn't nobody dying, he wasn't watching. Was not, not. I'd be like, brother, can somebody live and not die and declare the words of the Lord? <laughs> that's hey. why you can't. Let, that's why you can't let church folks do a live because they they gonna find a way to preach. <laughs> Listen, they gonna be in and out. They gonna be in and out. Listen. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. Oh god. Listen, okay. Well, Donald, listen, we appreciate you hanging, coming through. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for allowing me, um, um, Mabel, to to fill in some big, big shoes. No, 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 um, big hair. Big, big hair. Yes, yes. My 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 hair, as you see, my hair is not big. <laughs> Uh, my goatee, funny. I have a goatee. Don't, uh, not, what? Don't turn your head to the side. No, come on, keep keep, keep going. Isolate your neck, child. Isolate your neck. Okay, I see. I, I see. I was like, did you cut your hair? There she we go. It? Okay, okay. Isolate your neck. Isolate. I thought she was going to say I I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's gonna read my phone. <laughs> hidden hashtag hidden math skills. No, I'm serious. Thank you. I mean, hey, I'm honored to just be on this platform with D Carmina and D Amber, uh, who was the recipient. You, did you just win an award? Yes. She did. Right. She is the pop and drop yeah. like a queen of the year. The pop. The pop. <laughs> Y'all didn't know she had skills. Y'all didn't know. <laughs> but y'all don't know what, what I'm going to be doing. Actually, yeah. she won the Trailblazer Award at the Texas Gospel mm. Excellence Awards. <laughs> yes. I was there with my role, Holly. Yes! I'm happy that people win awards that actually doing it. Trailblazing, you know, I'm at the Trailblazing, you know. You yeah. had me nervous. I didn't know where that was going. I didn't know where that was going <laughs> either. <laughs> Amber already gave me a speech last night. It wasn't a speech. I just, I just, I just laid out. I just laid things out. That's all she, I did. She warned me. She, I, just, she, I just laid it out. This is, this is half terrestrial. <laughs> all right, guys. We got to go because you know who's yeah, here. The prophet. Paris. Okay. Paris is here. Oh, he's yeah. there. He's here. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I got to get out of here, y'all. I got to jump on the call. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, Joe. Last song we got Donald Godbold and Spiritual Gifts featuring Natalie Wilson is in the background. It's entitled Been There. All right, Carmina has to go because she has business. And I got to go because Paris is here. So it's time to roll. All right. I got business too. You got, oh, Donald has business too. Oh, ain't no business like the Carmina and Donald business. <laughs> That's business for real. Yeah. All right, Paris. <laughs> All right. I drank feed I know, but see, Paris normally brings me the good doctor. And oh, 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 yeah. Oh, ah, and he doctor. bought a doctor. Bam. Now, I got to okay. go, y'all. See y'all. Right, Bye, go Bye, guys. Be blessed and have an amazingly new day, everybody. <laughs>